It's a story of heroes, survival, and a few circumstances really beyond explanation. A year ago today, Pittman's assistant basketball coach, Milan Brown, collapsed from sudden cardiac arrest. Yeah, so picture this. He was lying in a deserted hallway. No one saw what happened. No one was there to help. But Channel 11 Channel Harder reports then divine intervention happened and his life was saved. I listened to Marvin Sapp's song. I'm thankful for it all once a day, every day since this has happened. And like he says, it's, I'm the good, bad, the ugly, and the small, I'm grateful for it all. May 9th, 2022 was just another day for Milan Brown, until it wasn't. To tell you the truth, I have no memory of anything. He was pacing the concourse of the Peterson Events Center while on a recruiting call, like he usually does, when suddenly he went into cardiac arrest from an unknown heart arrhythmia and collapsed. I got out of the stairwell, made the immediate right, and started walking towards my meeting, and that's where I saw that Milan was laying on the ground. So I ran over to him, Milan, Milan, are you okay? He didn't respond. I immediately called 911. A worker setting up for a concert that night heard Amy scream, ran towards her, and started CPR on Milan. Amy sprinted down the hall into the coach's offices and yelled for more help. She's running up going, he's on the ground, he's, something's happened quickly someone's got to come so I just took off running at this point he was conscious but his breathing was incredibly labored suddenly things went south his body went completely limp Terry sprinted to her right where the AED was hanging on the wall and within seconds delivered a shock to coach Brown's heart and there he came back and I've never witnessed that before in my life but it was a glorious thing Coach Brown was rushed across the street to UPMC Presby while Amy and Coach Terry waited for any news. Then came the phone call. Coach Brown was going to be all right. It was one of those uh, pump your fist in the air, um, you know, fist pump type of a thing. Um, it was just, you know, your, your prayers were answered. The doctors told me it was a drill. If they had to set up a drill of how this should work, it worked it perfectly for myself. Yet it was almost serendipitous how everything came together the way it did that May morning. He had a lot of angels around him that day. Amy wasn't supposed to be in that hallway at that time. She was running a few minutes late behind in the athletic meeting they were having. So if, if that doesn't happen, I'm not sitting here today. And Coach Terry wasn't exactly sure where the AED was in the building. I didn't know to go right or left. Again, this is where I feel God's hand was on my life to say, go right, sprinted right, there it was on the wall. Doctors telling her that decision was crucial. His words to me, if this was one minute later, he's not with us. It was so amazing how many individual people had to play their part in order to save my life. Three weeks after doctors inserted an ICD to help regulate Coach Brown's heart rhythm, the three shared an emotional reunion. It's hard. I can't, I, I will never be able to thank them enough. They were able to make sure that I could be a husband and a father, which is my most important and the job I love doing the most. Seeing him and putting eyes, on, it, it brought me to tears. And you see his wife standing next to him and you're like, he's a husband and he's a father. And that's when it really hits you is, you know, I know him as the coach, but there were so many more people involved. Both Amy and Coach Terry were trained in CPR and how to use an AED, but they both told me they never thought they'd have to use that training. Now, all three stressed to me just how easy and how important it is to get trained in CPR and how easy it is to use an AED. It walks you through it step by step. And like they said, they never thought they'd have to use this training, but that's why it's so important because you never know when you're going to have to Indeed. use it. Yeah, and it's so amazing how all of those things came into place in just the right way. And as he said, he's thankful for it all. Wow. Yeah. Great and story. The impact, the, the last uh, interview, starting to tear yeah, up no, there I talking know, about yeah. it. I did too. Okay. Just such an so. incredible story. Thanks, Jenna. Yeah. Thank you. Great story.